Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vernon Joseph Go, and I'm here today to do the first ever episode of Reading Out Loud. Read Out Loud. So, just to give you some context, uh, I, I consume video content every day as well as long form, you know text uh, content as well and uh, I've, I've been watching you know, reading vlogs where you know, people read their favorite book or something but me on the other hand I, I prefer to read articles and uh, I read something about you know, reading out loud that, that made me interested about it. So one of the reasons why I want to read articles out loud because I think there are many uh, good or even great and timeless articles out there that many people are missing out on and yeah, I wanted, I wanted to, to make a video or audio form of that and share it because of I think today or even you know tomorrow and even next year people are gonna consume more and more video content because of our shrinking attention span and I don't think a lot of people have the patience to read long text form so he, here we are so the first article I'm going to read is dated November 6 2008 fairly you know, old, almost a decade ago. So the source, I'm gonna put it on the description below if, in, if you're watching on YouTube, above if you're watching on Facebook. So the title is Seven Ways Reading Aloud Improves and Enriches Your Life by Stephanie Cicerelli or I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the description. <laughs> so it's a bit long. Anyway, so let's start. Why does reading aloud make you smarter? When you read something aloud, you're employing a great number of your faculties, and more often than not, the very act of reading aloud is a revelation itself. Why should you try reading aloud? Seven wonderful benefits that will get you going. Reading aloud does a number of good things. Today, we'll focus on only seven of them. Reading aloud sharpens your focus, increases your vocabulary, results in greater comprehension, gives you an opportunity to play, exercises your body, challenges your use of intonation, and improves listening and reading skills. Number one, sharpens focus. When you're reading aloud, you will find out that it becomes easier to put all of your energy into the task at hand without temptation of distractions. You are focused that you likely won't even notice that you are strengthening your mental and verbal skills. If you think about it, your mind is akin to a muscle. When it works out, you tone it, you build up strength. When you read aloud, you are exercising the connection between your mind and your voice. To the full extent which results in greater focus and cohesiveness. Interesting. Okay, number two. Increases vocabulary. Saying something in context aloud is very powerful. When you read, when you are when you are reading in your head, you only hear the words internally, and their effect on you is limited to how you interpret words during the private experience. 
during that very private experience. If you choose to read them out loud, you may find deeper layers of meaning in the words because when you are well, because when they are what because when they are spoken they take on a life of their own off the written page and become a part of you and inevitably through comprehension become part of your vocabulary and influence your use of language Number three, greater comprehension. People learn in a variety of ways. Visual, oral, tactile, and so on. Reading aloud will stand a better chance of internalizing the words and making them your own before you perform. Of course, the approach helps others who are not reading aloud as an actor, but for the sake of learning in general. If you are an auditory learner, reading your notes or textbooks aloud will help the material to sink in and become ingrained, making it easier to draw on the information you've just ingested for when you need to reference it in the future. Number four, opportunity to play. When is the last time you read something out loud just for the sheer pleasure of doing so? If you are looking for an opportunity to stretch your imagination and explore the capabilities that may be hidden in your voice, read a children's book aloud to someone you love. Not only will it increase your creativity, but will greatly impact the creativity of your children or those you are reading to. And then they put a link somewhere to uh, benefits of reading aloud to children. That's in the article. If you're looking for a great book that teaches you how to read to your kids and have them request your stories again and again. There's a bunch of hyperlink uh, descriptions. Anyway, number five. Five. Exercises your body. Ah, this is interesting. When people speak, we often involve more than just our voice in the projection process. In fact, many of us attri attributable to culture or otherwise make use of our entire body when speaking to get a point across. Physical expression adds or body language supports what we are saying. Right, that's it, short. Number six. Challenges your use of intonation. When you read aloud, there is hardly the opportunity to sound dull, especially if you have an audience. Make use of the full range of your voice. You'll only be able to discover and explore it if you are speaking the words with the intention of them being heard. If you're wondering how you sound, try recording yourself and then playing it back. Noting where your voice goes up, goes down, starts, stops, fluctuates, and even surprises you. Use a pencil and paper to mark your scripts to help direct your tone and vocal interpretation of the story or piece of ad copy. You'll be amazed by how some forethought and attention to detail can make an enormous impact in your delivery. Number seven, improves listening skills and reading skills. Lastly, reading aloud will make you more aware of the things that you read, hear, and also help you to identify proper grammar, sentence structure, and so forth. Reading aloud also does much for shaping your interpretation of what is being said. 
You'll be able to read with more efficiency and richness, expand your literary horizons, and also experiment with many ways you could interpret the written word. Then translate your findings to spoken word expression. Yes, that's about it. Yes, yes. So did you enjoy listening to a reading out loud session? Anyway. So I guess after that, uh, I'm gonna react. And just it, the article basically just sums up uh, what I wanted to do, what I want to practice, what I want to improve uh, about myself, and hopefully it does the same for you. So I guess that's that's about it for the first episode. Uh, maybe you can suggest some articles you want me to read out loud, preferably short ones or. Uh, not too long ones uh, as a start as you as you may have noticed uh, yeah I did stutter uh, some words I uh, was not able to pronounce immediately like maybe because I got tongue-tied maybe and perhaps English is not my primary language it's it's my second language or is it my third language it's not my primary language Hopefully you enjoyed the first episode. Until next time.